Greetings. I have a song here called The Sick Note. It's a song about a man named Patrick, or Patty as he refers to himself in this song, who is a bricklayer. Builds a building, destroys the building, clears the pieces, builds another one, that sort of thing. And even now, construction is still a very dangerous job. So in the off chance that you do get injured while on the job, you would have to write a letter to your boss and tell him, Hey, I'm not at work today. Here's why. This is why. Dear sir, I write this note to you to tell you of my plight. And at the time of writing, I am not a pretty sight. My body is all black and blue, my face a deathly gray. And I write this note to say why Patty's not at work today. While working on the 14th floor, some bricks I had to clear. Now to throw them down from such a height was not a good idea. The foreman wasn't very pleased, he being an awkward sod. He said I'd have to cart them down the ladders in my hod. Now, clearing all these bricks by hand, it was so very slow. So I hoisted up a barrel and secured a rope below. But in my haste to do the job, I was too blind to see that a barrel full of building bricks was heavier than me. So when I untied the rope, the barrel fell like lead, and clinging tightly to the rope, I started up instead. When I shot up like a rocket, till to my dismay I found that halfway up I met the bloody barrel coming down. Well, the barrel broke my shoulder as to the ground it sped, and when I reached the top, I banged the pulley with my head. Well, I clung on tight, still numbed through shock from this almighty blow, and the barrel spilled out half the bricks fourteen floors below. Now, when these bricks had fallen from the barrel to the floor, I then outweighed the barrel and so started down once more. So clinging tightly to the rope, I sped towards the ground, and I landed on the broken bricks that were all scattered round. While I lay there groaning on the ground, I thought I passed the worst. When the barrel hit the pulley wheel and then the bottom burst, while well, a shower of bricks rained down on me, I hadn't got a hope. But through all of this confusion, I let go the bloody rope. The barrel bend being heavier, it started down once more. And it landed right across me as I lay upon the floor. Well, it broke three ribs and my left arm. And I can only say that I hope you'll understand why Patty's not at work today. That's it.